This tutorial shows you how to create a self-running presentation from an existing PowerPoint deck and add a voiceover narrative that is sequenced correctly with the clicks as you move through the slides. This feature allows you to produce a presentation that can be viewed and understood without the need to present in person. The first thing we'd recommend you do is work through the presentation and write yourself a script so you know exactly what you're going to say on every slide. Then when you're ready to record, simply click on Slideshow and click on Record Narration. You'll need to plug a microphone into your PC, then click on Set Microphone Level and say a few words into the microphone so that PowerPoint can adjust the recording level automatically. Then click on OK to save the recording level. It's probably also a good idea to change the quality of the recorded sound to make sure it sounds great. So click on Change Quality and click on the Attributes list to show the list of recording options. Now I usually choose something somewhere in the middle just to make sure I don't rack up a huge file size. The checkbox at the bottom of this menu gives you the option to embed the sound clips directly onto the slides or store them in a separate folder on your PC. We recommend embedding the clips onto the slides as this makes the presentation portable. So leave this box unchecked. When you're ready to record and you've got your script, click on OK and the presentation will start to run from the very first slide. Simply read from your script and click at the correct time just as you would if you were presenting live. When you get to the end of the whole presentation, PowerPoint will automatically stop or you can stop at any time you want by pressing the escape key. Before you leave the session, PowerPoint will tell you your recording's been saved and will ask you if you want to save the slide timings as well. Click on Save. What this does is remember when you clicked to advance the builds and the slide transitions, making the whole presentation run from start to finish exactly as you recorded it. Notice that each slide now has a small speaker icon in the bottom corner to indicate that a sound clip has been embedded. So let's review what we've done by starting the slideshow. Very first slide. Simply read from your script and click at the correct time just as you would if you were presenting live. Don't we all hate the sound of our own voice on tape? <laughs> now if you've made a mistake on one of the slides, there's no need to do the whole thing again from the start. Just skip to the slide where you made the mistake, again click on slideshow and record narration, and when you click OK, PowerPoint will ask you if you want to start the recording on the current slide or from the first slide in the deck. So click on current slide and start speaking your narrative for this current slide. Once you're done recording the narrative for this individual slide, just click escape to leave and don't forget to save the timings. Once you're happy with the whole deck, click file and click save as and save your file with a new file name that indicates that it's self-running and you're done you now have a portable self-running slideshow with your own narration attached to it <laughs>